This tutorial for Demibooks Composer Pro will cover the options of the Add menu, which is available under the plus icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. To import an image, you have three options. You can select images that are already used in your book. You can also add images that have been loaded into Demibooks Composer Pro via iTunes or Dropbox. There's a separate tutorial video on how to add assets via iTunes and Dropbox. You can also add images from your iPad photo library. You can choose images from a specific photo album, or you can access all of your images in the camera roll. To add editable text, touch the text option on the Add menu. This will add a text box to your page. Whenever you add an asset, it's a good idea to name it right away. Giving assets unique names makes it easier to work with them as you build the interactions in your book. Once you have named your text box, scroll down to the Text Properties. Here you can type in the text you want and also do some formatting. Select the text box and it will have a green highlight. Then you can move the text box where you want it to be on your page. The copy already on this page is a graphic, so it can only be edited in a graphic program. Any text in a text object can be edited directly in Composer Pro. If you want to add an animation to your page, you have two options. You can add each individual frame one by one, or you can add a zip file that contains all the frames of the animation. You can add a zip file that has already been used somewhere in your book, from iTunes, or from Dropbox. By default, an animation is added to your page at 512 by 512 pixels. Select your animation and click on the circle eye icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. This will bring up the inspector window. After you give your animation a name, scroll down to the general properties section. Here you can change the size of the animation to a different width and different height. Under the animation properties, you can choose the pausing speed, frames per second, whether or not to preload all the frames, if your animation should loop, and if your animation should autoplay. Tilt response is a useful property for spinner animations. Use your finger or a stylus pen to drag the animation where you want it to be on your page. You can preview your animation by clicking on the green triangle play icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. Composer Pro will display your page as the reader will see it. To stop the preview mode and return to the workbench area, touch the red square in the top right corner. Adding an animation frame by frame is just as easy. You can name the animation and then scroll down to the animation properties and select the image sequence option. Touch on individual frames to load the individual graphics. Touch the Add Frame button to add another frame and then select a graphic. For any window that has a search bar, you can type in the letters of the word that you're looking for. The area below the search bar will change to only show the graphics that match what you typed in. This is a fast way to find the files that you are looking for. If you want to change the order of the frames of your animation, click the Edit button in the top right corner of the window. You can then use the gray bars on the right to drag the frames into the order that you want. If you want to remove a frame, touch the red minus sign on the left side of the window. Then you will see a delete button. Touch the delete button to remove the frame from your animation. Once you are finished, touch the blue done button in the top right corner of the window. Adding an animation by individual frames also has the default size of 512 by 512 pixels. Scroll up from the animation properties in the inspector window to change the size of your animation if you decide there is something you no longer want on your page, touch and hold on the item. You will then see the quick menu bar and you can select delete. This will remove the item from the page. It will not remove the files from Composer Pro. The steps to add a spinner, which is a special kind of animation, are the same as adding an animation. To add a video to your page, select the movie option on the add window. You can add a movie that has been used elsewhere in your book or from iTunes or Dropbox. Details about what kind of video files can be used are available in the Composer Pro User Guide. Once you have added a video to your page, you can use the Inspector window to give it a name and then scroll down to the Movie Properties. You can decide if the video should autoplay when the user turns to that page and whether or not the standard video controls should show to your reader. You can test your video by touching the green triangle play button in the top right corner of the workbench area.
touch the red square to stop the preview mode. More details about how to use DemiBooks Composer Pro are available in the user guide and in other video tutorials.